Hey everyone, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Okay, so today's video, I'm actually so excited. We are gonna be reviewing this. Hello, Fenty Skin. Oh yeah, look at this. Look at this visual. Look at the packaging. Look at this moment. I literally have just received this through the door. So there's three products, cleanser, serum, moisturizer with SPF. So without wasting any more time, let's get these on a skin and let's see what we really think. Okay, so I'm actually so excited about this video. Before we get started, if you are new to my channel, hey, what's up? I'm Danny DeFreitas. And on this channel, I kind of talk about everything that's beauty, fashion, lifestyle related. Be sure to subscribe to my channel as well and check everything out, some other videos. I'm always posting like on a weekly basis, so definitely check it out. Also, I just wanted to mention really, really quickly how cute is this jewelry that I'm wearing today. So all three necklaces are from a brand called Adjo Jewelry, which is a really, really sweet friend of mine. Her name's Sarah, this is her brand. So I am obsessed, like I absolutely love it and I feel like it looks so cute. So yeah, I'm gonna pop a little link in the description as well if you guys wanna check out. This is not sponsored or anything, but I just thought, oh, wow, it's so pretty and I love gold jewelry. So yeah, anyway, without wasting any more time, let's get straight into today's review. Okay, so we have three different products. I'm just gonna quickly go through what they are. Um, over here, so we have a total cleanser, which is a daily cleanser plus makeup remover in one. And then we have a fat water, which is a pore refining toner and serum. And then over here, we have an invisible moisturizer and SPF. So the idea behind this brand new launch, Fenty Skin, I feel like everyone's been going on about it, is that each product is a hybrid and has like a dual purpose. So this is uh, a standard cleanser and makeup remover in one. We have toner and serum in one, and this is moisturizer and SPF in one. So definitely interesting. Um, I'm not gonna blabber on too much. I just wanna kinda like try on the products and give you guys a really honest review. Um, I'm excited about this, it's new. Let's just crack on. Okay, so the first product I'm gonna try is obviously the cleanser. So just looking at the packaging, everything, I feel like it's very, very reflective of the Fenty Skin kind of brand, which is amazing. And yeah, I kind of feel like a cleanser, I would assume all cleansers would remove your makeup. I don't know, is that just me? But like, I would always assume that a cleanser would take off your makeup anyway. And personally, because I sometimes do wear quite a lot of makeup, I always double cleanse anyway. So I'm not wearing any makeup today. This is just my real skin, scary being on camera like this. But I definitely really wanna try this wearing a full face of makeup as well. And I might do that over on my Instagram stories or over on my Instagram channel to kind of like give you an idea when I'm next. I want it like, you know when you got that full makeup, I wanna see if it can take that off, do you know what I mean? That's what I wanna see. At the back, we've got a bit of a sticker moment, which I'm always like, I'm always curious, why is there a sticker on here? Like, what's underneath the sticker? But it says, hyper clean, soft skin without stripping or drying, daily cleanser and makeup remover in one. Can use it day or night, remove dirt, makeup impurities, wet the skin, work into a lather, boom, you're done. So let's do it. I'm gonna maybe wet my skin a little bit and then pop this on and lather it up. Okay, so first impressions, it really, really, really lathers up, which is amazing. Personally, I love it when cleansers just lather up a little bit. I feel like it's more satisfying. I don't know what it is. It just really feels like you're getting rid of the makeup. As I'm applying it, and trust me guys, I have so many cleansers. This one's really creamy, like super, super, super creamy. Has a very light fragrance. It smells a bit maybe like vanilla -y. I'm not sure exactly what the scent is, but it smells really, really nice. It's not overpowering at all, which I love. And yeah, literally just a little bit of water made it lather loads. So I'm just applying that all over and I really wanna see, you know, if there's a difference like straight away before using all these products. I know that sometimes with skincare, it does take around about two weeks for you to really play with it, for you to see results. But you never know, Fenty Skin might just blow my mind. Blow. Blow. My mind. Okay, so at this point, we are all kind of cleansed. I'm gonna go ahead and rinse this off camera, uh, just lightly pat towel dry, and I'll be right back so we can have a closer look at the skin. Okay, woo, so, guys, my skin feels very squeaky clean. I'm not gonna lie, it definitely has that, you know after you wash your face and you have a little bit of that squeak, squeak like, like. 
definitely can feel that. It feels very like matte, like not dry, but matte, which is quite nice. Um, I do have a little bit of sensitive skin sometimes, so I do get a bit of redness because I did shave earlier on today for this video. But overall, I feel like the skin texture and how it's looking is very matte. The only thing I will say is that with these cleansers, I definitely personally love them as a second cleanse. Usually whenever I'm uh, wearing like loads of makeup and I want to remove them, I'm a huge fan of oils, like cleansing oils or also beauty balms or cleansing balms. Personally, I just feel like they really get everything off. Um, so I definitely feel like I should try this out with a full beat on. Guys, let me know as well if you feel like you want to see that. Just drop a comment over in the comments box below and let me know if you guys want to see that. But yeah, overall, good. We're going to give our final verdicts right at the end because I want to see how the skin looks as, you know, as a trio with all the products. Okay, next up from the range is this bad boy. This is called Fat Water. I personally always love the names that Fenty give all of their products. Um, so Fat Water is a pore refining toner serum. So here again, we've got that dual hybrid about it being a toner and serum in one. It looks like jelly slash liquid consistency, very lightweight. Um, I'm gonna test it out on the hands. And it says that this instantly refines the look of pores, which is amazing because my pores are huge. Reduces the look of dark spots. Really, really good if you have got dark spots on your face. Um, personally, I always use SPF 50, so mm, we're not playing. We're not playing with SPF. Um, it evens skin tone and fights shine without stripping skin. Okay, so this sounds all really, really interesting. So I am going to. It doesn't. Say, oh wait, no, it does say how to apply it. Day and night on clean skin, apply all over the face with fingers. Oh, with the fingers. I was gonna use a cotton pad, but maybe I'll use it. See, toners, I always use cotton pads and I kind of put it on and then I wipe the face, but maybe because this is a serum, we're just gonna follow the instructions. We're gonna follow the instructions. Okay guys, so I'm just applying this with my hands. It definitely feels like more of a lightweight serum than a liquid toner. I like it, but I feel like it's not super hydrating. I'm not sure, I'm not sure about this one. Maybe I have to play with this one a little bit more, but I definitely feel like it looks really cool. The texture is really, really cool as well. It's very, there's a little bit of stickiness to the skin. It's very absorbed, like there's nothing there. And personally, I feel like when I'm using a toner, usually my toners are glycolic or salicylic acid or some sort of acid to kind of like resurface the skin and like really take away the dead skin and just give you a little bit more of a brighter complexion. And then I use my serums to kind of really boost the hydration and leave this kind of like luminous, kind of like dewy finish. To me, this product is not doing any of that. It's, it's obviously not gonna take away because I'm just using my hands and it doesn't feel tingly or exfoliating or anything like that. And secondly, it's not left as a serum, right? It's not left my skin looking super like dewy. My skin just looks like skin, but it looks good. And my skin's been kind of good recently. So I'm like, you know, I'm keeping an open mind. So we're gonna have to think about this one. Let's have a look at that at the end. And then there is one more product in the range. So, so excited to try this one because I love SPF and I love moisturizers and it's a big make or break for me. So this product actually comes in a little box. It's called Hydra Visor and is an invisible moisturizer, broad spectrum SPF. Oh, it's 30 sunscreen. Okay, cool. So usually I use SPF 50, probably wouldn't use anything less on my skin only because Guys, we are not playing with the aging process, okay? So I know if you wanna look cute and snatched, it doesn't matter how old you are, you need to be wearing SPF 50 on your face, okay? And your neck, do not forget about your neck. And sometimes I even put it on my hands because I'm like, I don't want old hands. So what's kind of cute is on the back it says, use every single day, no excuses, apply before makeup for the ultimate canvas. It helps prevent sunburn and decreases the risk of skin cancer and early aging caused by sun. Oh wow, I've never really seen that on the back of a like SPF box. Um, apply 15 minutes before sun ex exposure, reapply at least every two hours. Well, every two hours, how are you gonna do that when it's underneath makeup? Just a little bit of more information about like sun protection measures, stuff like that, yada, yada, yada. But yeah, I'm really excited to try this because I know that it looks quite cool inside. Okay, so just off the box, uh, I, I kind of would 
love this to be SPF 50 because oh, I just think SPF 50 on the face is the way forward now. But I do, do see that this is all, all of these products are kind of to prepare the perfect canvas for a Fenty face and for yeah, makeup application. So maybe some of the things that I've mentioned is kind of like how I want my skin to look super drenched before I go to bed, like super dewy, super this, but maybe that might not be the best for makeup application. Um, I personally feel like I quite like that slide on application, but yeah, let's go ahead and open this up. Okay, so I've just looked inside the box and it comes like this. So you've got two different compartments. You have a casing structure, which is really cool. And then you have this actual product thing. Yeah, I'm a bit confused why you have to do this yourself and why the product doesn't already come made, but maybe um, I'm not sure, but maybe it's because you can buy a refill of this and so you're saving with the plastic. So maybe this is, maybe something more is coming and these are the casings and then you can top this up so it's more environmentally friendly. So if that is the case, amazing. Or maybe it's just a fun little thing that you just do and live your best life, do you know what I mean? So yes, we are gonna go ahead and pop this on and try this out. Okay, so I've just popped this in. Um, it's actually really, really easy guys. You just literally pop it on like this, you press it down and it's done. And I've just pumped some of the product out. Hopefully you guys can see that. It is a slightly pinky, very lightly fragranced. Mm, it smells good though, it smells really good. Uh, moisturizer, so yeah, let's just pop that onto the skin. Okay, so I've literally just rubbed that onto the skin. So just FYI, if my skin does look a little bit red, that's completely normal for me. I go really red quite easily, but then it goes away in like five minutes. But I actually really like that. I feel like that's added a little bit more luminosity to my skin. Um, it has that pinky pearlescent tone and then it kind of like melts into the skin and I've just applied it on my neck and on my face. And hopefully you guys can kind of see that as I move my face, there's that it's very subtle guys, but there's a little bit of luminosity. So again, we all want that glass skin. We want that filtered airbrushed glass skin, which, you know, sometimes it's just not the most real and not the most realistic. So you just need to accept what you have. And I definitely feel like that luminosity and like glow and healthy skin is what really, really, really matters. If you have some fine lines, it's okay. If you've got some pores, it's okay. And skincare is going to be your best friend along with um, treatments and stuff to help, you know, improve skin quality. But skincare really is like the homework. Like you have to do skincare. You can't just think that a miracle is going to happen overnight. Anyway, now that we have tried all three different products and looked at the skin, I'm just coming a little bit closer so that you guys can see. Let's give our final verdict. Okay, so we have a final verdict. Three brand new products from Fenty Skin, which is, it even has its own Instagram account. I'm like, oh, okay. Um, I definitely am very, very excited about Fenty Skin. I love Fenty Beauty. I'm a huge fan. I've got so many Fenty Beauty products in my makeup bag literally in front of me that I was so, so excited about this launch. Gutted that I didn't get to try it earlier, like everyone else did, but it's okay, I guess. And um, yeah, let me give you my final verdict. I'm gonna do it product by product, and then I'm gonna give overall verdict and maybe a score. Okay, so my con for this is that I would expect a cleanser and makeup remover to kind of be together anyway. So the hybrid qualities of this product, I think is cool, um, but I think usually a cleanser you would expect to to be able to remove um, makeup and impurities and stuff to the skin. So that would be that along with, I think that I would love to try this removing makeup. Like I said, I'm a huge fan of oils and beauty balms and cleansing balms to remove makeup. So I really wanna test that out. So it's not a huge uh, con on that side because I haven't done it yet, but definitely need to try that. My pro for this is gonna be the texture. It's very, very creamy. It's very rich. It lathers beautifully and isn't so fragrant, which for me, I like. I don't like products which smell really, really, really strong. And yeah, I definitely love the texture. I love the packaging. It's super, super cute. And you get a nice amount of products in there as well, which is great. I'm gonna rate this product around about, I'm gonna give it an Mm, 7.5 out of 10, uh, maybe 8, 7.5 to 8, just because I love a cleanser. I love a cleanser, and this is definitely gonna go in my skincare cupboard, so that means it's already like 
Danny approved. Like it's gonna go straight in there. I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna use it daily to see how it works. Okay, our verdict on this little one, Fat Water, love the name, Pore Refining Toner Serum. I'm gonna again start off with the con. So personally, I feel like it is a toner and serum in one, but it leaves the skin looking super matte and I just kind of wish it left it a little bit more luminous. I'd love like a more of a slippery texture, but again, I feel like with serums and toners, you do need to kind of use them for a while to see if they really, really work. There's not gonna be one product which just transforms your skin in one go and you're like, wow. So that's gonna be my con for this. The pro is gonna be that I've never seen, and I love the innovation behind this because I've never seen a toner and serum in one. And I just feel like there's so many skincare products out there. There's so many beauty products out there. And for me, the innovations department behind Fenty Skin, like, product development, you guys are killing it because you guys bring out new things. Like I've never seen or heard of this and I have so many products. I, I hear about all of the latest launches and stuff like this. So really, really, really excited that there's a hybrid product which I've never heard about. So just the fact that you guys are killing it ahead of the game, I'm just, I'm all for that. So this product for me, I personally feel like Mm, I didn't love love it, but I'm going to try it anyway I just feel like like I said you have to try things in order to see if they work I'm gonna rate this one maybe a 7 out of 10 This might increase or decrease depending on how I get on with it And I definitely I'm gonna do a full face of makeup now So I'm gonna see how that sits underneath the makeup the final product is going to be the moisturizer And this is oh it doesn't have the name now one second. It is the Hydra Visor. That's the one. And uh, we're going to start off with a con. So maybe the con is that you can't see the name or what it is. It is quite a big, chunky component. I know skincare tends to be a little bit more on the bigger side, but just because I do love traveling, I mean, maybe they're going to bring out minis. That would be really exciting. I love a mini moment. Um, I kind of... I don't know if it's a pro or con that you can kind of like detach it. I'm not really sure what the meaning is or if it's just like a refill or I'm sure the Fenty Beauty or Fenty Skin team have got something in mind to come. But yeah, I didn't really get any information at all. Like it literally just came in a box. I didn't get any press releases or anything like that. So I'm not really sure. The con, the main con for me is gonna be the SPF factor. I wish it was 50. I would love to see like an SPF 50 because that's just kind of what I use all the time and I feel just better protected wearing SPF 50 on my face than on my neck. And the uh, pro is gonna be the fact that it literally doesn't leave any cast on the skin at all. It gives you a bit of luminosity. And I definitely feel like the skin feels nice and smooth for makeup application. But usually for me, moisturizers I like are a little bit more glidey so that now my foundation would just glide on. But like I said, I haven't tried it with makeup yet. So I'm gonna go and try that. I would give this product maybe around a 7.5 out of 10. Okay, so those are all of my pros, cons, and final scores. Overall, with Fenty Skin, I'm gonna give the entire range and the overall launch of this product brand an eight out of 10, just because I'm so, so excited about it. I feel like this is just the beginning of something really, really huge and really amazing. I remember, I still remember to this day when Fenty Beauty launched in Harvey Nichols in the UK, and it was just like, amazing and I couldn't go because I was abroad and I missed that opportunity but I seriously love this brand so so much and so I'm very very excited about this I feel like they will develop really good quality products and I'm really really excited and very honored to be sent these products they are gifted so yeah that is it from me if you have enjoyed this video, then please do not forget to give it a thumbs up. Honestly, these reviews, I'm trying to be just as open and honest as possible and not just be like, oh, everything is great because usually I only really review things that I'm excited about or that I love. So I just wanna do a few more reviews and even if products work or don't work, I just wanna share that with you guys as well. If you're not already subscribed as well, be sure to click that subscribe button. And also if you click the bell, then you will be notified every single time I post a brand new video. And don't forget to check me out. It's just Danny DeFreitas over on my TikTok, my Instagram, everywhere. But apart from Twitter, which is Danny underscore DeFreitas for some reason, you know. But yeah, I will see you guys soon. Until the next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs>